Imagine if you will, a game developer most well known for such collectathons as Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Kazooie 2, <laughs> Banjo Kazooie for the Game Boy Advance, and later Conquer. But I forgot they did that. Sorry, narrator, you're a little late on the punch there. Welcome to I've... Grab by the Ghoulies, everybody. This More was like... Rare's the the big thing I was trying to build up to is that this was Rare's first th this was Rare's first big game after a huge acquisition that Microsoft wanted because they thought they could get a gorilla in the deal. What the hell is happening? Well, here's what what's happening. You're playing as a kid who can kick, who can punch. You can jump. You can also elbow. That's a new one. And knee. So this is our playing through of uh grossed out by the goldfish. Yes. Also, I don't care what anybody says. This title's music is a total earworm and it's in both the best and worst ways. Gosh, dang, yeah. they don't have to jump out every single time. <laughs> what the hell is happening? They're celebrating, Nick. They're, celebrating. They're, having a, they're having a grand old time. <laughs> Here's what to expect from the game. You'll be spooked and ooped. And uh, when, the spooking, when the spooking gets when gets stale, you start beating the crap out of everything. Yep. And that's pretty much the entire point of grabbed by the ghoulies. Oh my god, these guys just don't fucking stop. <laughs> anyway, um... Fun fact, in spite of this game's infamy with both the the gaming public and with Rare themselves, to a point where Rare often jokes about how bad it is, I have actually never seen this game in action before. I'm going into this blind. Likewise. That's the same with me. Oh, Doug and Nicky, oh my gosh, all of you. In a matter of speaking, I kind of am too, because uh, I did a bit of... So, let's just get this out of the way right now. The primary reason we're doing this in the first place is because Logan had to uh, plant that seed straight into my ear and say, we should do this for the channel. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm currently the only person in the room here that actually has a means to play it, so here we are. That's exactly right. I got it, guys. You guys didn't lay off. And I will say for now, I haven't beaten the game yet. I'm pretty close to finishing Chapter 2 as of my current uh, playthrough. Mm -hmm. But I feel like... I think I get, get the gist of what to expect for the majority of the game, so I'm going to say... Screw it. Let's give it a shot. Let's consider this a semi-blind run of the game. Uh, sounds good to me. Yeah, don't, you gotta love those. Blocked by the gold ducks. So, what should we call our uh, current file for the game? I'll leave it up to you guys, considering um, I really don't know what... Everyone, give... Bingle. Bingles. Bing so I want to ask, like, Bingles. does this... B-I-N-G-L-S-E-S. Oh, okay. <laughs> but go ahead, but go ahead, Hype. Well, I was gonna ask, like, does this pull a Zelda where this name is actually gonna be what we're called in game? <laughs> no, actually, no. Uh, thankfully, that is not the case. It's primarily just, you know, for people that want to actually put their names on the thing. We're actually playing as a uh, kid who already has a name. His name is Cooper. Not to be confused okay. with that Cooper. Not is that a Jinjo? And, and not to be confused. That may look like an, a Jinjo, but it's actually an evil Jinjo. Or an Minjo, as the game calls it. Oh, a Minjo. Yeah, it may, it may as well be a Minjo in this case. So, uh, why don't we go ahead and uh, start Finkles' adventure through the grand hallway of a spooky mansion just outside of town. And don't worry, we can talk over the cutscenes. Like they're they're told in comic book format with speech bubbles and everything. Which I'll give this game credit. Wait, this like, is like hmm? this is like the same presentation as Stretch Panic. Hmm. Well, I, with its intro cutscene. So he beat our two heroes. Well. Okay, one hero, one damsel in distress. The, like Cooper, for example. I'm sure we should have taken a right back there. Mm -hmm. Now we're lost and there's a storm coming. We need to find some shelter. And fast. What are we doing out in the middle of a rainstorm anyway? Football season. <laughs> God damn it, I hate that. How about in that old house? Looks totally safe. No, oh, I mean like the older, the, the shack over there. Oh. Meanwhile, Cookie McAviator over here is the owner of the mansion, and he sees- Is that a motherfucker? <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Looks like a motherfucker. That's right, my pretty. Come on in and say hello. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I want to. Oh, well, I don't think I want either. He seems, he seems weird. Look, over here. No way! Let's carry on and try to make it to the next village. Live in villages? Places like this are always full of creeps. Or worse. But my feet hurt. Me? A creep? Baron Von Ghoul? 
Actually, he does actually raise a point, actually, if you say the name out loud like that. <laughs> How dare he! Can I just say right off the bat, I would not have minded in the slightest if this was like a prequel to the Banjo-Kazooie series and this whole mansion was owned by Grunty. I honestly would have not been against that. I do believe a lesson in manners is required here. Hmm. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I'll bring out my spookiest of agents to lure them in. And by lure them in, I mean an abduction. Oh, it's the ghoulies! It's not technically it's not technically kidnapping if they kill they don't have a time to say that they've been kidnapped. Hey! Get your hands off her! Oh crap, now it's a kidnapping. Bye bye! Bye bye! Excellent. Two new additions to my collection. Must you only grabbed one of them. I don't know. I must make arrangements to make sure they're most unwelcome. See the twist? Aha! Uh -huh. Ooh! I will decide to be a most humble house host. So yeah, like it or not, Mr. Cooper here is going to have to do everything he can to save his friend from the clutches of the ghoulies. Starting with the front door. Oh, well, there it is. Oh. Hello. Hello. So I guess I will say as a quick factoid, uh, Cooper here is actually voiced by the same guy who voiced uh, Fox McCloud in Star Fox Adventures. What? No kidding. Uh, I forget his name off the top of my head, but there, you can definitely hear it in some of his own lines. Okay. Probably will, yeah. So from the get-go... I, the cell shaded style is reminding me of two things. First off, Wind Waker, doy. Secondly, oh, the fucking okay. Lunchables commercials from like the mid 2000s. What is oh, all this noise? I'm trying to go to sleep. And who turned the lights out? Is this the titular ghoul? No, but these guys are. He looks like Professor Pickle. I mean, honestly, the more I, the more I look at the old guy, he looks like he would be out of place in Luigi's Mansion as a ghost. The ghoulies! Leave me alone! Trademark. Bye. He out. And take the lantern with you. Evil uh -oh. gingos say we collect you. They're ninjos. <laughs> They're gingos out of a job. You know what time it is, boys. And now they've come to collect whatever you have in your pockets. No, it's just like how gremlins work. RUN! Oh dear, what do I do? What do I do? I suggest, sir, use the left thumbstick to move and holds the right thumbstick in the direction he wishes to attack. In other words, treat this like ape escape. <laughs> look at that, Icky. I think those little critters are starting to look hungry. I mean, you do kind of look like a hot dog. Just kick them! The imp Joes. I mean, when you say that, Icky, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Or you could just karate chop them. For the time being, I shall refer to them as the Angry Joe. <laughs> Angry Joes? <laughs> well there done, you sir. You certainly seem very capable of battling unarmed, even though like half those hits barely hit them. In I'm addition to afraid. your fists, you may be certain to use items of furniture and other objects as weapons. Look for the grabby hands icon. No, that's a petting hand. <laughs> Press the A it's button a to... Press the A button to pick up a weapon and move the right thumbstick in the direction Sir wishes to attack. And before anyone gets confused, remember, technically we're playing on, playing an original Xbox game. That's what they called it back in the day. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that sounds about May right. I give you Cook's special reinforced chair? Sadly, not everything is as well made. I don't know why, but looking at this is reminding me somehow, and you can look at me weirdly all you want. It somehow somewhat it. reminds me of Splatterhouse Reboot. Huh. <laughs> a much more cartoony take on Splatterhouse. You see what I mean, don't you? Like the whole premise I, I and what this looks it. like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, that's what this was similar. missing. I need, I need more Jim Cummings in this game. It's like, <laughs> dearly me, sir is locked in. This means you'll have to complete a challenge to escape. Thank you, Pete. Hmm. It's like, the gravestone icon means Sir must defeat all the ghoulies in this room to complete the challenge. Goof. Oh, thank God. I thought we died already. That's every last one. So get to it, girl. <laughs> so that's pretty much the main, the main thing of the game, is that every single room, most about every single room in the game, has a challenge you need to overcome. It usually involves detonating the ever-living shit out of every, everything in the room. Other times you have to do it under very specific conditions. Uh, more on that later. Otherwise, bad things will happen if you don't do this. 
very bad things. Oh, my lord. I did it. Oh, actually, before I go talk to him, look at this book on the floor. Was that rare, weighty tomb Sirs just picked up? Why, I do believe it's a bonus book. Ooh, bonus, bonus goof. Keep your eyes peeled for more, as from here on, every visit to a room will have one. Collecting them should earn Sir something interesting. I will say this right now as a, as a uh, heads up. I'll go for however many I can, but I'm not going to make them a priority because what you get out of them is honestly not that interesting. Okay. Something interesting like... I was hoping that you just ended off with... <laughs> Correction, boring. Uh, more like redundant, but anyway. Splendid, sir. You did it. You may now leave through the store and begin the search for your friend. So who's this guy? Crivens is my name, and I'm the lowly butler here at Ghoulhaven Hall. May I have the pleasure of making Sir's acquaintance? The name's Cooper. Yeah. Not that Cooper. Yeah. Just, just yeah. Cooper. Okay. That's quite inappropriate, sir. <laughs> well, pleased to meet you, sir. I shall pop up from time to time should you need any help. And judging from the looks of you, you need all the help you can get. Now, let me remove that chair from you now. You're starting to scare me. <laughs> oh, I forgot to say. Sir may discard weapons by pressing the B button. Handy if Sir is carrying one weapon, but would rather use another. Uh-huh. Let me also give you this map. It will show Sir's whereabouts and, at times, points of interest. You may select it from the pause menu. All right. Good luck to you, Sir. And yeah, right. he just took the took the chair right off my hands. Anyway, moving on. Not even two rooms in, and I'm already losing my mind. Backing up, though, looking oh, at this art style here, I almost, I almost wonder if the game. Backing up, I almost wish the game looked like this art style actually here, like this almost like penny arcade kind of like comic style. It looks like concept art. Probably was yeah. concept art. It totally is concept art. Ooh. And now it's time to trench through these wicked halls. Oh. And you see the shitless. What? This is the jump scare hallway. Literally, it's just going to suddenly, yeah. Get sooks! Sir suffered a super scary panic attack and successfully overcome it. <gasps> Critics will rave about how accurately this was portrayed in an animated context and never shut up about it for decades. If we're lucky. I hope it doesn't happen <laughs> again. I don't want people online to give us flack about it. It's gonna happen right now. From what I played so far, they oh banjo, banjo, gorge. What happened to you? But um, yeah, what was I gonna say? Is. Surprisingly, from what I played so far, they don't do this an awful lot. So this is like the like the most blatant it ever gets. There's a kazooie there oh, too. Sorry, Mr. Bat. Is this all the game is? Kazooie, Congo, uh, or was it was it Congo or Conga? The guy that threw his oranges. Conga, uh, Conga. That's it. Congo's oranges. <laughs> I died protecting them. Also, can I just say, like, that the bit of, like, Banjo scaring Cooper, I feel like that's an accurate representation of Phil Spencer every time <laughs> someone proposes the idea of a new Banjo game. Really do feel like that nowadays. <laughs> what is anyway, happening? Uh, anyways, now I can, okay, so now we can quickly go around the bit. Uh, Doug. Oh, yeah, look at Ridley. Oh, <laughs> 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 But so yeah, so Doug, you're so Doug, you've never really heard of this game before. But uh, so, no. have you played many of Rare's uh, it titles in the past? No. Really, I would recommend. I would. Don't I would scare me, Kazooie. Whatever you do, even though it'd be totally in character. Oh, I was hoping for Kazooie to scare you. Okay, that's actually interesting because um, on my um, practice file, Kazooie was the one that actually scared me. Also, it is randomized. Hmm. Yeah. But um, oh, I mean, no. I, would, I would recommend to you their er their earlier works, Doug, like Perfect Dark. Um, the and, Banjo uh, games go without saying. Ba and the Banjo Ooh. games, of course. I mean, I am. I mean, I'm still on my current run of Banjo One. Nice. Sure. Not all doors will trap you inside a room. It seems Sir may walk straight through this one. Hmm. Did I mention that Sir may also rotate the camera with the left and right triggers? Hmm. Doing it is highly recommended, as keeping one's foes in sight has obvious tactical advantages. Yeah, because obviously we need to use the right stick to actually attack. We have to use the uh, the thumbstick to actually the, uh, the triggers. triggers to actually uh, move the camera, which, I mean, could oh, be You worse. can grab that trophy. So any re oh, yeah, as a so weapon. So do those skeletons just not bother you? 
not currently, but let, let, let's just keep it that way. They look oh. awkward. They saw oh. me. They oh, no! Me. Oh, they're looking to beat you at the bones. Now we take the trophy. Do we want the trophy? It seems like we can just run, do right? Well, so it's a throwing <laughs> thing. Okay. Or do you or do you get some or do you get rewards for fighting them? They, they sound funny. Do you oh get boy. much of a reward for fighting them? Unless they force me to really do it, I'm only just doing it for the satisfaction of it all. Booyah! Oh. Not gonna lie, I feel more sympathy for those skeletons than the stupid kid. Aw, they were just minding their own business in Ghoulhaven. But well, they were minding more of their own business before they saw me and started. They wanted to pick a fight with me. I just wanted to get on my go on my merry way. Oh, well, hey, they saw you had bones. They wanted in. But how can they see my bones when I'm clearly all skin? Uh, clearly it's because you're standing upright and you're not just like a disheveled blob on the floor. No, what what happened is that like you were standing in front of the window and the light just happened to have been in the perfect position where it like went through you and you could see your skeleton through your skin. Oh, there's our friend. <laughs> Help me. You got it. Don't worry, I'm here to save the day. Oh yes. Who says oh yes anymore? To think that my <gasps> last word, to think that my last words were you were hearing you say oh yes. <laughs> the Minjos, cool beans. They're back with a vengeance. <laughs> oh cripes! I think the cinema is on the other side of that wall. Oh, okay. So I can reach it by going back through the billet room, I believe. Can I also just say as a quick quick uh, aside, it's like, I can, I can definitely understand why they went with this for these for the sake of dialogue. I kind of wish them, since they show the heads, I kind of wish they also moved, like, you know, typical Banjo fair as well. Oh, mm -hmm. so like if they were animated while they dock. Yeah. I, it's, I again, I don't think it's like, it's like the worst thing in the world. Oh. Like, I totally get what they're trying to mimic here. Ah, so this, it's, like, it's like a silent film. Yeah. So we have a I see we're in the gamer's room. We have a new requirement, as you see now. Yep. Which which means it's that challenging. Yeah. The key icon means Sir must find the key hidden inside an object somewhere in this room. Yeah. You should try looking inside some of the more rare <laughs> items. Oh dear, my <laughs> master won't be happy about all this damage. Sorry, I just thought of something funny. But yeah, so, so you're understanding the idea is that, like, first of all, it's imagine Luigi's mansion, but Luigi just walked up and just cracked his knuckles upon entering the mansion. Secondly... <laughs> so, like, Luigi's Mansion 3. Yes. Imagine he just beats the shit out of the ghosts. But secondly, it's secondly, this whole thing is a puzzle game of sorts in that Oops. I believe what we may... I believe what we want to... By the way, the counter, uh, as you can already see, the counter in the lower right tells you how much health that object has before it shatters for good. Otherwise... Um, let's try this. Otherwise, oh my lord! Uh, otherwise, like I think, the, walking with the dustpan, woo woo woo. I think <laughs> the imps may spawn infinitely until we find the key. Yeah, I think you have to find the key. Right, it was that's right. It was inside a. It's a. It's inside an object. Speaking of rare objects, but which one? It's inside this carefully marked Xbox gaming box. Wow! I mean, this is the gamer room. My favorite type of box. And we've cleared another Riddler trophy. Also, I'm yep. disappointed. I'm <laughs> that, that, little, that little asshole kicked you in the shin. Oh, also, yeah. I'm just. I better leave. Oh, oh boy. Nope. Nice. Wow. Get him. <laughs> get, get him. Get his ass. Get He's ass. already dead. Oh shoot. Oh god. That comes with the tag team. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a chip off the old ship. <laughs> Oh, shit. That was actually really good. That was incredibly timed. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Move Doug's audio thing to when he went out the window. That was great. <laughs> okay. Oh, my lord. <laughs> now it's time to play some billiards. Oh, but now... Hey, oh, oh, now we have the what? other main mechanic of the game. This fucknut decides to play with our health every room. Then you're doing well, eh? Let's see how you cope with having your maximum energy interfered with. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I kind of just went into a weird mood there. Fine. In fact, I don't believe I shall tinker with your ticker in every room from now on. I'm so dastardly <laughs> as I am. <laughs> Listen, you're not dick. <laughs> don't ask how exactly I'm messing with your heart in every room. I like to keep you guessing. <laughs> he secretly installed a defibrillator in his heart. Go ahead, Doug. Now just now just saying, listen, man. You may be dashly being it, but you're not dick. <gasps> Ooh. He ain't no dick. Exactly. Nah, he's just dastardly. Uh, oh. 
Here we go again. Challenge. A ghoulie head icon with a number next to it means Sir must defeat the required number of that ghoulie to escape. Yes, we're going through that. Break some bones. Okie dokie. Hey, now, that's racist. But we gotta be careful because we're on super low health. So just don't, yeah, just don't. Not too, honestly, not too bad. Like, you'd be surprised how much you can get away with with so much health. I like how that one skeleton, like, ripped his head in, like, anguish seeing his best friends being beat the shit out of. Four! Before he, there like, started running towards you again. I just need to like, oh man, how could this human do this to my buddies? I'm sorry, My just... main thing I need... Oh, go ahead. Uh, just the <gasps> dumb thing I mentioned, I have this cannon idea where it's like... Oh, right, this! Oh, boy. Take this! Oh! Whoa. Now that's a oh. home run! But yeah, that's the joke I was thinking. Like, anytime he picks up any of, like, the sports-related stuff, he calls nice. out phrases related to the wrong sport. Like, he had the pool cue, I yelled out, Four! <laughs> Batter up! Yeah. Four. Play ball! Order up! It's like, wait, that's not <laughs> I mean, kind of think, what do you even use for this, for the sake of, a uh, pool? Uh... Bank shot? Yeah, I'd be like, bone hits, corner pocket, and then, like, you know, slap <laughs> or something. The coast is clear. Sir will find the cinema just along this corridor and through the first door on the left. It looks like there's some beefaroni <laughs> here for you. Beefaroni? <laughs> Seems my soup well, our cook, has left her super soups lying around for guests to sample. Ooh, super soup! Uh -oh. It's soups well? They come in many interesting flavors. Why doesn't Sir uh -huh. give one a try? Who knows what kind of effect it will have? That's his character arc. He just energy. He's like calling us sir because technically speaking, Cooper is an offensive slang in British English. Oh, it is, isn't it? Really? At least I assume it is. Huh? I mean, they there's a reason why they called it Sly Raccoon. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, that's right. I'm gonna look that up. Actually. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, oh, oh no! Spam oh, calls. That? Wait, what? What was that all about? So uh, when that happens, our uh, our health is fr our is temporarily fractured. Oh. You just had a heart attack. <laughs> no. If it happens again, try to avoid the effect before it gets to you. Sir so will take twice as much damage if he's scared pantsless. If he's hurt while scared. If he's scared stupid. Dude, I'm so scared I'm gonna break pottery. You know, like you may be wondering how two skeletons were able to keep up. Oh, oh no! Boy. Spiders! Spiders! He looks oh. kind of cute though. Well, he's very quick. It's Squitter. But we'll have the Air Nikes. No, Logan, it's a spider. It, there's no justification. Alright. So I looked it up. Apparently even Kadikris himself... Let me double check this. Uh, I think you're going the right way. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. So apparently Kadikris himself even admitted... Uh, uh, so apparently Cooper was actually was, is not actually a slang. Oh, I guess... Not? Yeah, I guess... It, it, a, he was trolling people. Nice. I. But, yeah, I don't know why it was... Yeah, I'm gonna look it up then. Why? What? Did that uh, asshole just fart at you? Oh. Yeah, well, the zombies are kind of a nasty bunch, but we'll worry about them later. I'll look it up while I was reading What is going that. on? <laughs> you know, I'm playing Medieval after this. Go for it. You know, I'll say for what it's worth, like, so far I've played in this game. Yeah, no, this definitely feels like a rare game. In both the best and worst ways. Oh, oh no. Oh, my God. He's almost, he's almost always a dick to you. I don't think he's ever, like, given you a good amount of health and... Wait, you're not- I'm the bad guy! <laughs> What's she doing here? She's one of the many poor young souls the Baron has kidnapped and taken prisoner. He's very lonely, you see. Only he has the key to set them free. <laughs> yeah, so like it or not, this is gonna be something we'll likely have to deal with later. Sorry, man. I thought you were about to say, Who's she? She's a woman that I- I mean, the be- Pay she no attention to her. Life, young sir. Pay no attention to her. She is but a spooky. Woo! <laughs> I love how you can toss them out windows. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Taking out the trash. You're okay, where is? Thank you. We're like punching out the trash. All right, where's the girl whose name I forgot? I don't think we even got her name yet. No, we I'm didn't. Looking, She's I'm just a girl. I'm looking at that. <gasps> 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 <laughs> That's fair. Ah, uh, Amber. Okay, Amber's don't panic. Uh, try to hop away from that fireplace. So you don't get spun around. Okay. This is stupid. Or worse. Oh no. Whoop. <laughs> Off she goes. He calls down, Amber, that's a bit too good of a job. <laughs> 
Oh no! She must have fallen into the archives because of her excessive weight breaking through the floor! You really should have put her on that diet. <laughs> There's a set of stairs so can be used into the gaming room, which is the other side of the suspicious looking fireplace. He just shows up and he's like, oh go ahead, finish your thing. I'll run ahead and open the basement door for you. <laughs> is this guy just following us everywhere? Kind of. I mean, why not? He's a little bit of do today. Maybe he's starting to get sick, sick of his master's shit ah. and he's going to actually, you know, help for the cause this time. Ooh, we got classic home videos to watch. But I just love the idea of him just walking in like, it's not even oh. the title that's supposed to have the trap door on it. Like, it was over on the other side. Uh-oh. Is that the television? The telly. Yep, even the TVs are haunted. <gasps> A haunted television. And worse yet, they can spawn smaller enemies. Oh, and even oh, worse no! yet, when they're electrified, uh, you can't hurt them without getting zapped yourself. So try not to hurt them while doing so. But what did you call that? Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh and they're that. invincible to and they're invincible to items, Also, too. I see Klungo on the wall. Oh, yeah. That's right. And the uh, skeleton. Oh. Yeah, there's Klungo right there. Hey. Nice. This guy looks like he'd be annoying to fight. And you know, television fucking sucks. Yeah. Was that turkey? Maybe this fight is meant to be an anti-TV PSA. Thank you. It appears the door so used to enter the cinema is still locked. You should look for another less obvious way back to the gaming room. Okay. Could this guy stop following us? No, he is our tutorial in the game. I'm very lonely, so no. Not yet. Actually, well, Why would you here. want to be friends with a little boy? I'm gonna check and see if maybe I can still, you know, Actually, what am I saying? I already said I'm not gonna worry about the book, so. Oh, there's one right here. Uh, actually, there's the book. Just look for another book. Oh. <laughs> I was about to say, fuck it, I'm not getting the book. There's the book. There you go. And you've collected five books, which means a bonus challenge has been unlocked. So, may access them from the bonus challenges page. Remember. Every time Sir collects five bonus books, a bonus challenge is unlocked. So don't forget to check the bonus challenge page regularly. Again, if I really want to that badly, again, uh, the challenges aren't too different from what we've already been dealing with. Just now they're put under a bit under a timer. Gotcha. Oh, gaming. Wow, back oh, gaming we're back room. here. Okay. I'm surprised this guy isn't giving us more wisecracking jokes. Yeah. He, he... The, his or like a catchphrase. Of... Uh oh, now the chairs are haunted too! Oh boy. We have to kill all of them. Crikey's! Haunted chairs! My fourth greatest fear! A ghoulie icon on its own means Sir has to defeat ghoulies of this one breed. In this case, the haunted chairs! We are haunted chairs! Woo! <laughs> we could probably use a bit of a boost. Turbo Cooper. Turbo Cooper. Yep, it makes us fast in every way possible. Which is actually perfect, because then only yeah, because that only does that oh, oh that only does that allow us to move faster, allows us also punch and hit faster. Does it allow us to beat the game faster? Yes. I mean <laughs> Statistically speaking, I think so. Look, the beefaronis. <laughs> I'll get the beefaronis in a second. There's so many beefaronis. But it still won't help me understand Nirvana faster. <laughs> to be fair, I don't think anything will help with that. In hindsight, I just... I, random thought to talk about that game now. But, like... Oop. I, actually, I, probably shouldn't even, I probably shouldn't say anything, because this is going to go up well before that, that I game. I mean, you could probably out. censor it out. I, honestly, Logan, you'd be surprised, since we don't have that much left on the docket right now. For spooky, that's what I'm saying. For spooky month, like this is probably gonna have to come out before. Wee, I love these I'll chairs. I'll say Logan and uh, James Man. I hope you could censor this out with, Wolf. with he sillier to, noises. He, he doesn't have to bleep it out. Just that, just in the th in sense of that. No, no, no. Very, I, I want him to bleep it out oh so God. it encourages. I'll our be very quick, James. You don't have to do it. So sorry. Just do this. The Charlie Brown. Just the fact, Icky, that it's interesting that like. <laughs> No, we're no, no. I don't want to. <laughs> Too bad. We're... Well, well, hold on. Dude. Oh, oh definitely hell. hell. Yeah, let's grab a little pick me up. We'll just focus on this now. Okay, so, so how long roughly is this game? Well, if it means anything, it didn't take me long to beat the first chapter in roughly an hour. Spiders. And there's only five chapters in the game. Okay. You just elbow dropped that spider. Yes, I did. He did. Do you feel sorry for yourself? 
The main thing I remember learning is that although there are a butt ton of, uh, well, not a butt ton, maybe a butt. Since there are a butt of enemies to, like, Ooh, that'd be for enemies enemies something to be different on with, that looks like uh, furniture. What does that mean? Basically, it gives us uh, infinite uh, weapon utility for a little while. Which is good because we got a lot of them now. Oh, God. So go to town on these spiders. <laughs> Mop up the racked. Yeah. Well, that's a broom. Yeah, <laughs> weapons are the way to go with combat, if at, at all possible. Sweep them up and down. Yeah. And yeah, sweep and, them away. Yeah, weapons are what you want to be using. They extend your reach, they extend your uh, range, usually give you more attack power. Where was I going with this? Also, I love how the noise you get. I love the noise of when you collect those beef beefaroni cans. It's literally just a honeycomb piece. A little bit. Kind of, yeah. But, um... Watch out, spiders! I got a stick! <laughs> and I'm not he's afraid to a, whack him! Watch out, he's got a stick! But yeah, what it reminds me of for some reason is, um... I remember seeing this one video, like, it, it really is telling that I once saw this video that was supposed to be like, oh, oh perfect. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <gasps> it's, nice. it's a Gipto! Yeah, Iki, you're really not wrong there, because, uh, this guy sucks. Be careful how you battle this dehydrated fellow, sir. Perhaps it needs some Aquafina to brighten its day. Oh, but aside oh, from that, my... did you know that if you get not dizzy, you might be able to snap out of it the sooner if you got in a spin? Basically, spin the stick. Even though I'm sure spinning further would not make you less dizzy. Was that asshole just pelvic thrusting you? Sir, I think a certain bandicoot wants to talk to you. Yeah, he's not taking, he's not taking damage. <laughs> your attacks don't seem to harm it, despite the fact that you're kicking it rather viciously in its chart. <laughs> Unforgivable, <laughs> sir. Take the special candle. A little fire should do the trick. In all fairness, it is already dead. Attack using the right thumbstick is normal. Beware, though. The gauge in the bottom right corner of the screen holds how much fuel it holds. If it empties, I'd hate to be you. <laughs> okay. You won't be cool anymore. Dispose of the dried up delinquent and I'll leave the candle with you for now. You may need it again soon. Yep, so every once in a while we'll actually be given an item we'll carry around for a few rooms that will be very helpful more often than like a candle that will burn mummies alive. Yeah. Where was I going with all this? Uh, there's more where that came from. Like, eventually you'll come across the world's greatest super soaker. Hey! James, you just said that that enemy was a pain in the ass, and yet you torched it asunder in, like, two seconds? Well, because every other attack before was, like, dealing with no damage. Now, because the game allowed us to win, Icky, that's the tricky part. Anyway, exactly! I it let us win. Anyway, it was just reminding me of, like, I remember seeing, like, a video that's supposed to be... You know how, like, you'll be like, oh, look, it's every boss from this game. This game has two bosses. <laughs> Oh no, bugs! Anyway, what are you are you doing anything for the spooky time of the year, Doug? That's a, that's a great question. You got any costumes? You're gonna go as Luigi? <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna use my Luigi cosplay. <laughs> uh, funny enough, actually, funny that you mention it. Uh, I, my mom asked me uh, a couple of days ago at the time of this uh, if I'm gonna be dressed up for Halloween, and it's gotta be obvious. And she and she also said that she's probably gonna give a Halloween costume to my nephew. Okay. So probably something What's to do with Mario. Maybe. I... I'm not too sure Aww. just yet. I am super tempted, but I, I don't know if I could. F I, maybe I can find a suit somewhere. I want to go as David Pumpkins. David, David Pumpkins <laughs> from the the suit from the Saturday Night Live when it was good. The Saturday oh. Night Live skit that uh, Tom Hanks actually played him. And he just had. Oh, there you are. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> pelvic thrust. <laughs> you creepy pelvic thruster of death. And Tom Hanks just had so much fun playing this guy. Oh, wow. Like, like, like he was smiling, and like just not at all sounding like his normal self. Like I'm David Pokes. And it's just. Just the skit was so thank thank goodness that for whatever reason probably for due to limitations, uh, the lighting doesn't actually affect the models. You can totally see where they are in the dark. Yeah, yeah. that is good. That would suck. I mean, honestly, like Ow. I this game, like it was piece of shit. I just got thumped on the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, like I play this game, and it's like I don't think it's really a bad game per se. But you could sort of tell this was not made. This was made not made for. The Xbox, like most specifically. If that oh, makes we can leave. Sense. We can leave. Yeah. We, we can leave. We gotta run. We gotta run. We don't have to fight them all. That's true. We don't. Have to was this originally intended for the GameCube? Either GameCube or maybe it was still like maybe it was something that they planned since the N64 days. 
Maybe. I, I just, mean, it looks better than an average N64 game. It's but, better to but see. Yeah, it, but yeah, it definitely... Go ahead. I'm an old man. It's better to see the enemies other than the fucking ants in the ant caves in medieval from what I'm playing. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Greetings again, sir. Good to see you have made it safely this far. Hmm. You seem to have toasted all those mummies, so you'll no longer be needing the candle. Come here, give it up. Yoink. But I like the candle. <laughs> it keeps me warm at night. But I have all better news than that. I found Miss Amber. <gasps> you found my friend? If so, <laughs> will forgive me. I've also taken the liberty of freeing her from her bonds. Oh, sweet. Excuse you? There she is. What is this fucking Rugrats music? Uh, a great coat, coat special, I think. No, it isn't. Iki, that's you. Oh, yeah. At last, no <laughs> thanks to you, I've been freed by that smelly old butler guy. Sigh, I suppose you'll be wanting a hug now. You know, <laughs> I'll say this right now. It doesn't... So, sometimes I get the feeling the text and the uh, cutscene, like the actual animation, don't quite mesh all that well. Also, I'll... Sorry, I cut... Sorry. I'm offended that you said I smelled. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of got held up on the way, but at least you're okay. Come on, let's go home. I think there's a soccer game on TV tonight. Grown, you're kidding? That's it, tie me to the chair again. But wait... Not dun, all things dun. come that easy. Says <gasps> now oh. we have uh, Sir Pansington. I don't even know what to make of this guy. I'm so not so fast. You won't want to show yourself in public when I've finished with you. Uh, I thought I, I was afraid he was messing with something in his pants there. Yeah, because fun fact, he's not our boss. Oh, why what? We have to fight evil 2D? Ew! I mean, you're not wrong. Oh god. Gruntilda. Help. Oh dear. Oh my. This is just terrible. I'm quaking in my shoes. That was dastardly Dr. Crackpot. It appears to have transformed Miss Amber into a hideous version of her former self. Basically what you'll look like in about 40 years from now. Let me think. Oh. Cook may be able to mix a cure for Miss Amber's uh, <coughs> affliction. <laughs> I'll tell her to expect you. Hmm. So we'll find Cook in the kitchen, which is upstairs beyond the cellar. Hurry now! I hope Cook can actually be found in the uh, in the swimming pool. As a oh boy! Version. Oh no! Also, oh, she's not gonna attack you. Now, I mean, okay, hey, hey, hey! <laughs> hi, 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 hi. the shit well, out of she her. Maybe butt ugly, but that doesn't give you the right to hurt her. <laughs> ugly people have feelings too. Oh no! I could have sworn. I was say I could have sworn. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I was say I could have sworn there actually is a fight we have to do with her later. Maybe. Maybe I. I wouldn't be surprised if something ends up happening to her and we end up needing to fight her. But at the same time, it's like right now she's she's harmless. She's just. Making these very uncomfortable smooching sounds and trying to get approaching me every, every so often. Thank goodness she's not very fast. Is that evil uh, laughter coming from her or the bookshelf? Uh, the scenery, I think. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll be back, Amber. Uh, you stay right there. No. What a night to have a curse. Right. <laughs> oh no! What kind of spooks and scarums can we expect down here in the cellar? Oh. Uh, not much else beyond having oh. more health raised up to thirty. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just in hindsight, I'm just like, man, what, what was the, what was the point of giving us a hundred health if now that's going to be happening? Did we even start off with a hundred? No, we started with fifty. Yeah. Oh no, sorry, fifty, fifty, fifty health. My bad. I guess it's to experience that level of power. It's like these little assholes only do one point of damage while you do like four. True. Oh, hey, we're in Mad Monster Mansion now with the 1881 sellers. Oh, Look at that. Uh -huh. You know, seeing that makes me in the mood to tap for a drink. No. Oh, what the? The door. It's a real fake door. I'm a door. So, can we just... What the? You won't knock me down. <laughs> can we punch it? Can we just punch the shit out of it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can, but do be worried because this little three three hit combo there fucking hurts. Knock what, knock. The one that you inflict on him, or no, no. When, when he when he does like when he does the spring. Oh jeez, he almost did it there, but we, oh wow. You know what? I was, you know what? 
I sure showed him the door. Thank you, James. <laughs> but he is the door. Uh, just... <laughs> yeah! Okay. Oh, yeah! <laughs> but yeah, no, all things considered, like, that guy gave me so much, like, gave me worse shit when I actually <laughs> played this for the first time, because, uh, like, if you give him the chance, he's gonna keep popping his doorknob right on you, like, in a three-hit combo, and, you know, you get yourself stunned pretty badly if you get hit by that. Mm -hmm. I am just so perplexed at what I'm looking at right now. Anyway, uh, look at all the soul storm brew that we can drink for days. Will it kill us? Wow. It was us. <laughs> Will the cork shoot at you? No, that'd be comical. Oh. Moving on. Actually, we're heading on to our second chapter now. Oh, already? Oh. Yep. Yep, now it's time for the restoration process. I totally read that as the restroom. <laughs> the restraining order. Amber's restraining order. The rumpus room. <laughs> what a real... Why, <laughs> do, why do they call it the rumpus room? How inconvenient for you, Cooper. Actually, speaking of the chef, here she is. Oh, in a room where we're not even fighting anything yet. No, uh, you say that, Iggy. Oh, oh, boy. Bats. Well, now it's, now it's the, the little, fire. The little uh, pissy goblin, fiery goblin things from Conquer. Yeah, if they can fly. Phil, thank goodness you're here, youngin. These pesky fire imps are spoiling the broth. Oh. We're only really trying to heat it up. <laughs> see if you can see if you can get this fire extinguisher to work and cool them off. Hi. <laughs> yep. Also, made no mind that was a terrible taking a cockney impression. No All worries. Right. Hold the thumb stick to fire the extinguisher in this direction you want. <laughs> Fuck it. You want to attack? Thank you. Tap the right thumb stick to swing your weapon. Just remember to keep an eye on the fuel gauge. Barely noted. Shoot oh no, them. there are imps and they're on fire. Wait a fucking minute! That's just the dragon boss from DK64, the tiny. Uh, no, it's not the it's not the dragon. It's not Dragodon. the fire. It's not the firefly. Dragonfly? Dragonfly, Dragonfly, not Firefly, right. Turbo Cooper! <laughs> Turbo Flush! There we Super go. Super Weapon! But yeah, as you're seeing here, I think I... Uh, backing up, I think... Oh, it, oh no. hello! I am hankering for some meat on my bones! <laughs> Good job, Yogan! Let me take back that thing and introduce myself. My soup will's me name, and fine cooking's me game. It's Soup Swill. Now, what's the old Mr. Crivens tells me? Sounds like your young lady friend's been getting in a dopey spot of bother. Oh. She's been turned pug ugly by some <laughs> crazy old scientist guy with ten legs. Griffin says you can help me help out with a cure. Sounds like she'll be needing my special potion. Alas, it seems I'm out of three, out of the three ingredients I need. The first being glow worms. Ew. Glow worms are used to light the lantern of the old lighthouse. Let me mark on your map where you can find it. Ooh. Out there. Nah, it's yeah. time for a fetching quest somewhere out there. Also, if you're wondering why I haven't been showing the map all that much, it's because it's kind of useless in this game, to be perfectly honest. I was like, the game is super freaking linear. It's You're never yeah. going to be going anywhere besides where you're going. You can stop by heading through the door to, to the scullery. Off you go now, child, and the best of luck to you. Hello. Also, you might want to take care of that skeleton that just appeared. No, he's hungry. He just wants meat on the bones. I'll give you meat. I thought you were about to hit him into the pot. <laughs> Ooh, dang. Can you? No. All right, let's be on no. our way. Which door was it? Oh, uh, the, the one window. that the skeleton just came out of. Actually, can we look at the map? Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, uh, yeah, we can. It's in the pause menu. Right, Bumper. Here's the Ooh. whole map. Can mm, move that it? Is, <laughs> that is indeed a map. <laughs> yep, it is the textbook definition of a map. It's just so... Why? You are here, Icky. Th listen, the big problem with this map is that, first of all, you can't really navigate through it. Second of all, there's no key points of interest shown on it. It's just... I think it's just a, something that they were planning on making more out of, but just didn't have enough time to... Oh, hey, Baron Bird. It's just a house. Yep, just a house, spoil. Actually, while well, I'm still here, I'm going to see if maybe you still got any of them rare books. Oh, wait a minute. Mr. Pants! It's Mr. Pants! Oh, I'm so happy to see he's here. Wow. That's a that's a deep cut. Yes, it is. Because uh, no one else is going to give a shit about him. Aww. Uh, okay, okay so you know what? I, again, I'm wasting time here. I, I don't need to go 
stuffing around for books. I need to go find me some uh, ingredients to cure my friend. Wait, hold on. Before you go, um, I think I just saw... What the fuck? Wait, is that a book of fairy tales? Spooky tales. <laughs> okay, so they're spooky fairies. Dragon tales. <laughs> Uh, that's, my, that's my comedy now. Wait a minute. I just say random words. Is that it up there? Uh, Never mind. It's not. I mean, it's, it's, it's a bookshelf. I would be surprised. It's a bookshelf, but no rare. Wait a minute. I see it now. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Do, do you need I'll me to get, get a? Do, do, you need, do you need me to get a guide out? No, it's <laughs> fine. I get. I don't know why I'm so suddenly wanting to find the books so bad, even though I already made it clear I'm not going to make a priority out of them, considering the thing you get out of them isn't all that worth it. Well, I mean, have you collected all the books before? No. If it's, uh, I think I've already brought this up before, but I haven't even beat this game yet. I think this you'll unlock uh, Stop and Swap 2 if you uh, get it. I think the Stop and Swap, there's Spanjo on that wall. Banjo yeah. on the wall? And Mr. Pants again! Maybe we'll be one step closer to Banjo 3. But here's my question, Niki. What would yeah. you Stop and Swap this game with? Uh... Uh, a better social life? I mean, if we're on the GameCube, I'd assume Banjo 3. A zomba. You know, I was wondering why we're starting to stink here. Uh-oh. Here's a new miss. Here's a new secret <laughs> I don't like. The Reaper cometh. Thank you. And you must be top of his list. So must complete this challenge within a time limit, or the Grim Reaper will appear. If he touches you, that's no good. Gadzooks. Gadzooks! And now for one of the sneakier enemies in the game, the zombie. That thing's eyeballs are ugly as shit. But you've <laughs> gotta beat him fast because if... And, they, and he's also a freaking damage sponge. So we need to be quick because if that time reaches zero, the Reaper will show up. And I believe the Reaper... He won't kill us right away, but if he catches us, it will be a one-hit kill. I'm glad that you could just crotch kick that thing into submission. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do, do you actually do you actually decide which move you do, or is it random when you like? It's completely. It's it's more or less random. Okay. Like all you really you, basically you're treating again you're treating this like it escape. You flick the right stick in a very specific direction, and he'll just attack in that direction. Man. <laughs> he's he's getting down. Rocksteady wishes it could make combat that complex. <laughs> right. <laughs> Anyway, let's go ahead and move on. Maybe take this, take some of this with us. Oh, the door's making a noise. I probably should have. You know what? I can't, probably could have used that while finding the zombie. Ooh, a spooky can. Also, don't touch those specific uh, cans because those give you negative effects. Oh, devil damn! Oh, man. like what? Oh my oh, god! Yeah. Oh, five no. hits in a dream. <laughs> Now five hits in a chair. I, that's, that was my big thing. Is I remember this game being rather unforgiving if you're not very careful. Ooh, oh, oh! No! He gave me the red right <laughs> chair of the stars. That fucking chair slam jammed you. It did. We there we go. We need to find more beefaroni. It just like rammed right through. Well, thankfully, as you're no as you're noting, at the very least, it seems your health is refilled upon entering any new room. And the and what's even better is that say if you do end up fainting in a room. Uh, that's not in some, you know, there's really no such thing as a game over in this game. You get knocked out, you just restart, the, restart from the room you got, you fainted at. Oh, a dance floor. Oh. Boogie down. Boogie the night away. And they're playing the big hits of the DK crew. Oh boy. Whoa. Oh, what the? <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. I forgot to ask, what actually happened? Do, do we just get fractured if we get scared? I think we do get fractured. I, I think it does lower your health, though, if you don't, uh... If you, if you do make a mistake, then you do lose, lose health doing that. I was just imagining... I was just going to assume that he would just pull, like, a Homer Simpson and, like, die. <laughs> Carefully does it, young sir. Disturbing the crazy dancers will result in trouble on the dance floor. He's got a point. I mean, look at them. They're just enjoying themselves. So I assume you have to walk slowly past them? Uh, you don't have to walk slowly per se, you just gotta avoid contact with them if you can. Ah. Uh. Don't go don't go disturbing their groove. Oof. There's a lot of them though. Don't throw off their groove. Oh, like you almost just did. <laughs> Except for this dumb nuts over here who's blocking the way out. Well, I guess we okay, have to do it. Ooh! <laughs> the game forced you into a trick. Oh no. Put him uh, up. Now it's turned into a ballroom brawl. We may want we may want to get over to the other side of the room to get some weapons. 
<laughs> I love the boom up boom up gesture he has. This is fucking ridiculous. It is. Absolutely ridiculous. I think we got your turbo, turbo Cooper can. Nice. So I mean I mean so now that you're seeing this game for Oh uh, shit, he's carrying a guitar! He's got a guitar! <laughs> he's got a guitar! So now that you're seeing this game. Actually, you got any spares? Uh, <laughs> Damn no spares. Well there's one over No yeah, they they grabbed all their weapons. So now that we now that you're seeing this game warts and all, uh Icky. Whoop. Ow! Icky, Ow. hi, what are your uh, Doug, what are your guys' thoughts on this so far? Uh oh. Ah, oh you fool! You have to, gotta be careful. You're playing with fire. Oh, oh man. Knocked out. Stop it, I'm dead, I'm dead. I hope he farts on your corpse. Oh. Alright, oh. right, now we're just back here. And, a half. and we got spooked again. Does that thing have tits? Big spook. Uh. I don't know. I. I don't How think I, I want to. I want to find out, actually. It looks weird. Anywho. Oh, you oh, know, got beer bottles. Get, you know I, I remember this. I think you can throw the beer bottles on to deal damage oh. from here. So that you can deal damage to them safely without having to actually go on the dance floor yet. Yeah, good idea. Go through here to get that beefaroni. Oh, so get the one that's blocking the way. Wait! We could just... We could just walk away from him. I don't think we have to deal with these guys at all. Hold on. Oh, Wait, yeah, no, you there's kinda more have bottles to, on the table. There's, 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 there's more bottles on the table beside you. There's oh! More there's more bottles beside you. Oh, actually, no wait, he's out of the way. He's not blocking the door anymore. Just to make absolutely certain. There we go. And they'll never have to know. Alright, drop him though. You got drunk, don't worry. Yeah. But yeah, what do you guys think of this game now? Like, now that you're seeing, like, a decent amount of its gameplay. It is silly, and I'm loving the reactions you guys are giving it. <laughs> I am quite amused by this Glover-ass music. All that I'm missing it's is God, this does sound like something out of Glover. the one thing that my brain, the one, <laughs> the, on. one the one thing that my dopamine sensors crave though is I need ragdoll. <laughs> yeah, I agree. There you go. Ta da! One nun nuts out of the way, and the rest and the rest of the guys can party. Yeah, take out the DJ so though. Uh, who says we have to? Oh, well, the bramble in front of that oh. door does. Oh yeah, he totally. He, he oh, totally oh wait, oh wait, that's right. That's right. We can't... Doors open. Doors open. Did that guy just throw a rib cage at you? No, it, I'm out. It was wrappings, but I, I forgot. Yeah, we couldn't, we couldn't hurt him. If we <laughs> tried. We don't have fire. Anywho. Oh, oh, we're, we're in the Ghoulie Gardens. Is where we will come face to face with the most what the fuck enemy variety of this type. Huh? The achievement. Any tr oh, 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 I see. You got the achievement for getting through without actually starting the fight itself. Oh, Look at that. Huh. Son of a bitch. There you go. What is that mumbling noise? Well, there's a girl cop in vines. That mumbling is from the ninja imps. What? Ninja imps? Oh, the sounds they were making was racism. Okay. <laughs> no, I mean, were you what? hearing the sounds they were making? I did hear it. Yeah, yeah. but... <laughs> It's like each and every single goddamn room in this place is like a new adventure. That girl dressed up a reminded me of a character from Vampire the Mask Vampire Bloodlines Masquerade. Probably maybe even a reference for. I think it's a reference to Britney Spears. Either way, definitely seems a bit skeevy for rare out of nowhere. And yes, I know they were the ones that made Conquer the Pinata that one time. But whoa, <laughs> skeevy for rareware. You've alerted the crew. Oh God! And the rest of them. Oh. That's that a new, new icon. icon means so must find the ghoulie key, which means the key to the door is hidden inside a ghoulie. Naturally, I mean, I don't know why you want to suit that. Alright, so it's one of you. And I hear the music is trying to pull racism too. Oh my god. Oh my god, you're right. And the book sound even sounded like a gong just then. It did? Oh, maybe it was oh. just the sound effect. Oh, hey! Luck oh, there's the key. That was easy. That one enemy just went, ay, 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 ay. Run. Man, Jackie Chan adventure is looking great. They're not stopping. They're not stopping. Oh boy, <laughs> that, they're not that stopping. They're not stopping. Look at him strutting away. <laughs> uh, I wish we could sprint. Can't stop. Won't stop. I, I don't think we should stop. If we stop, like they, they, they death by a thousand cuts, James. Death by a thousand. Yeah, cuts. just run, run you idiot. Leave them alone. Oh god, they're not worth oh, it. God. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> Find the beef. Run, 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 you run, idiot. Even better, freeze him. There you go. Oh. 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 That was Lord. Now, where was the way out? Uh, the turn around. Out uh, right. To your right. And then... There it is. Okay. <laughs> Freedom! My so what's Lord. with the toy box? 
Uh, I, I assume it just gives you infinite weapons. Like, you can just constantly grab nah, stuff. Now, nah, remember how we wielded uh, that uh, pool table like a boss earlier? Oh, an environmental oh. Oh, an environment attack. Got it. Yep, same deal. Also, uh, Doug, why don't you voice this next chap we'll be coming across? Right, sorry. Sorry, I want to hear from you as well. Yeah. I'm just by them, man. Okay. Great. Oh. Mm -hmm. well, you can also vibe as a groundskeeper. <laughs> oh. It does a kind of... <laughs> Moomy metal. <laughs> he sounds very chill. Nice. I like him. <laughs> Just give him a chill voice. Fuck this. You give me. A, you give me a fright, yeah. young. Young. I. I were busy adjusting. Young un. Just mm, attacking the boys. I be wolf. I'm not speaking of this. Fuck this. Fuck my English. <laughs> okay, fine. I be all fiddles with the ground. Was, he was for too a while, chill. I was hoping the voice. Actually, no. You know what? No, no. Uh, you know what? Uh. Logan, you need another guy to voice. Oh, yeah, he does. Guy. Okay. Uh, yeah, you he's, voice he's this you. motherfucker, uh, motherfucker. I, I think. Where might you be heading, lad? <laughs> not, not through the boathouse and on towards the old lighthouse. Through that boathouse and out towards the old oh. lighthouse, I hope. Oh, grand, grand place there. Tell the world around by the undead. I have. I can't do that, Nicky. I already made the other guy high pitch. I gotta go deep with this guy. <gasps> the super oh. soaker of legend. Stick him up. Super soaker? I hope, oh. neighbor. He can poke him. Kiss me favorite toilet. What? God. Best take this with you. It'd be full of sacred water that the Moras don't like. War. I guess I'm a pirate now from that laugh. Hold the right <laughs> thumbstick to fire the thing in the direction you want to attack. <laughs> Tap the right thumbstick to swing a good and hard. Don't forget to keep an eye on your gauge. <laughs> Bring it back, man. Because it belongs to my nephew, Little Willie. Watch out for that girl, <laughs> though. Whoa, thanks, Mr. Fiddlesticks. No problem, Mr. Squidward. Watch out for that grid on the floor. <laughs> Careful, that's no spittle. Mod Flanders. <laughs> Watch out for that lawnmower, neighbor. Oh, it's... Quit spamming your thumbstick, Mr. Squidward. What is going on here? We're in her shed. We don't want to be Freeze. in the shed. What is that? Oh, piss oh, water. Wow, it, like, melt, melt what did I say melt. about coming in my shed? Oh. Well, we're boned. <laughs> Take it uh -oh. away, Phyllis. Uh -oh. oh no, pirate treasure. We're skeletons all along. Oh shit. So focus the zombies. We need to focus the zombies right now, otherwise... Uh, like, Just don't... squirt them. Yeah, don't worry about these guys. Focus down them zombos. Shoot them with the piss water. Uh, where was the other right one? Here. Where was right here. Right behind the... me. <laughs> hey, I'm over here. Okay, there you go. That, the, now, mind you, you don't have to get out. Thankfully, you don't have to get out of the room before the timer. You just need to complete the challenge before the timer runs out. Oh. And looks like the water is only really good against the zombos. <gasps> oh, guard! Look what they did to no. you, you poor thing. That poor fella. How could they do this to you? My God. Ow. What did you do, then, neighbor? Wait, what's that map for? Map? Go back. What's that? I don't know, it's something... Maybe that's the dreaded ILO Hex. <gasps> Is that Treasure Trove Cove? No, Treasure Trove Cove ain't oh. shaped like that. Where's the book? It Wait, is. it could be the fucking Hammerhead Beach. What is, what is it called? Mm -hmm. From which the, game? The deleted level from Banjo-Kazooie. Oh... I don't know. I don't think it was a deleted level. Are you, are you talking about the giant, like, island that, like, had the stop and swap item in it? No, not Shark Food Island. Yeah, I don't know, actually. Okay, now we get... Uh-oh, better be prepared, because we have another enemy type among the premises. Oh, the Medusa. A mental patient? A mental Medusa. Mentus. Oh, it's Mentulsa. Oh, it's just, just Medusa straight up. All right, fair enough. Not the worst thing in the world, but... Uh, as oh, as boy. Ow. Fuck. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Not the worst thing in the okay. world. Okay, she's, 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 she's Objection. Fuck this. Shocker, oh, blocker blocker. shocker blocker is super stupid like oh right here so since we have shocker blocker wait what was the point of shocker blocker we still got hit by <laughs> we still no, got spooked it was, it, was, it was automatic oh okay so shocker oh, does it activate if you fail no 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 so, so what he, okay i see what jay's saying uh with shocker blocker he didn't even have to press <laughs> the button inputs just then he just, he just did it for him <laughs> but she still hits like a truck <laughs> yeah, she fucking decks like, you with the head. I don't remember this part of the myth. It doesn't look like it gives a lot of damage, but the knockback is fierce. And it doth say in the old in the old uh, myths 
that Hercules went and faced Medusa with a shield of with a shield made of glass, meant to reflect the witch's gaze upon her. But then the witch went to the top rope and bent him over a freaking like back <laughs> break. Fucking head him down. <laughs> I'm off duty. Yes. Now get the fuck out of my sight. <laughs> Or I'll headbutt you some more! You know, there's something on, honestly funny about how I had an easier time fighting her uh, the first time around than now, so I don't know what the hell happened. Me, I just find it funny that her attack isn't like using the snakes to petrify you, but she just fucking headbutt you dead. Well, I mean, she does have a stare attack that James avoided. Yeah, the scare, the scare bear stare. I don't know. You know what it is? Never mind. I, I was, I misremembered. I was trying to actually avoid her because I think, like, it seemed like at first she was indestructible. Does that really count as an attack, though? Oh, here's an inter here's an interesting bit. Oh right yeah, I, I remember hating. I remember hating this one. Deep breathing. That beef only has twenty five in it. That must. That's like the most generous we've seen so far. Mm. Welcome to my least favorite challenge in the game. This one? Yeah. Oh. Cards are wrong! You cheat! You betray best friend! Me teach you a lesson! You little shit! Not oh, all ghoulies get along, sir. The smiley face means these two have become traitors and will attack each other instead of you. Saving you a lot of hassle, I believe so. Uh, they run out of ghoulies to attack, they will look for the next best thing. Okay, so it's like Doom you? Demon in fighting. Okay, there, okay, it was not a challenge this time around. What I okay, what I was referring to is when you're coming you know, is when you're coming back down the lighthouse. This room has my least favorite challenge in it. Oh hello. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking scream. That was just, serious? I love that stock scream. Wow, just a num I think that was literally every I genuinely think that was every stock scream in it wrapped into one. Oh hello. Ah crud. Zombie, Zombie pirates. pirates! Well I mean you have your holy water, so <laughs> <laughs> what a fight! I love how the first thing I hear as soon as it gets back to gameplay is just that stock fart. You know, for the past week, I've been loving hearing stock screams. I mean, hell, I just hear Sir Daniel fucking dying. Aww. I mean, I'm not wrong with that one there. Oh, eeky. Wait till we get to the dining hall. Oh no. Is it full of farting zombies? That one erupted primal Donkey Kong 64 flashbacks the moment I went in there. And uh, no, oh. don't worry, I like, I like oh, look, stock rain? as well. They're especially labeled for her, too. Thank goodness. Hmm. Oh, nice. Not sure why, why they're here of all places, but you know uh, here it is. Now this, oh. You got the glow worms! Now we're making progress! What are you waiting for? Bring them back to me! I can't tell if you're trying a Cockney accent or a Jamaican accent. Whatever I feel like, Boyle! Well, I just realized, she said we're missing three ingredients. She never told us what the other two were. Well, we're, we're gonna find out once we get back. I'm pretty sure if a third ingredient is human flesh, and then she'll throw you into the pot. Oh, how awkward would that be? I mean, hey, do you want to save your friend or not? Here we go. Wait, no. It does not happen yet? Oh. <laughs> oh, wait. I think I remember... Wait. Oh, so hey there, Captain Blackbeard. Yeah, hey. he had a dream. He had a dream. Beat you. Here, uh, is this it? I think this is it, maybe? Is that general scales? Okay, that's right. We want to use that soup right now to give ourselves some more time. You heard him. Get the beefaroni. There you go. Extra time! Because, uh, yeah, we have a lot... Oh god, we also have a television over there. Is this the one you were thinking of, Logan? I remember this one was very hard because just there's so little time to actually do everything. Um, I mean, you uh, just let the TV spawn in more zombies. But I, think I, but I think I was also dumb, and I didn't realize that they were weak to the water so badly. So <laughs> I'm probably... That's why they gave it to you, to deal with the zombies! <laughs> what, did you just smack them in the head with it? Okay, but you know what? I'll just come out and say, my least favorite challenge is the one where you cannot deal damage to anything unless you're wielding a weapon. Yeah, that one, that one kind of, that one kind of stinks. And then there's also the ones where you have to take out this kind of enemy, but also entirely avoid killing this type of enemy. Right, mm. those ones I also do not like. I That's think a weird I think challenge. that one's coming up. They're coming up pretty soon. And oh, hey you! Don't take me gun away. Crunch my carrots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the crunch my not carrots. Not with that face, I won't. <laughs> you show them undead beasts. No, you show them undead beasts a thing or two, young master. You won't be needing that water squatter no more, so I'll have it off you. Little Willie will be wanting to play with it. Never say that phrase again. <laughs> <laughs> Run along back to Mom now. I'll be off to the farmyard. 
I hear there may be a beast on the loose that needs exterminating. If you know what I mean. But I want me gun. It's about safer shit than giggles, Logan. There's a couple of things that some of us could get away over here. Uh oh. Oh, there's two oh, Medusers. No. Don't worry about them. We don't have to fight them. Medusers. <laughs> Mitosis. I can't say that. Mitosis. Oh. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, it's something about this game, you know, just giving you a neat little tool to play with, but then not long after, immediately, okay, you had your fun now. Give it back, please. Okay, we can <laughs> Hand it over. Later. Can we take on Gar with us? Yes, we can. Yay. What? Yes! <laughs> He's not even holding it right. <laughs> no, that's not the shirt. That's the shirt you're going to cut your hand. What's even the point? Surely we won't be needing none, Gar, for any. Oh! It's the hunchback. Oh, boy. Of not your dame. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> I eat oh. cats! So has happened across the hatchback. He's a scary, resilient adversary. Oh, although he's terribly protective of his um, hat face. I, uh, he sounds like Patrick. Oh my god. So first of all, I just realized now what the game's title is supposed to be about. But the, first of all. About the ghoulies? Yes, because I, I just now learned a new thing. Cooper doesn't mean something bad in, in UK, but Ghoulies does. Oh, what's what is what is the euphemism for Ghoulies there? So it's spelled differently, of course. Hence the whole the hell. Is he scared or? You don't get any bad behavior now. Is it slang for for something related Ow. to wow. the, to the privates and the sergeants? Oh, so maybe you have to bait out the spin and then hit him while he's dazed. <laughs> Or just keep kicking him in the chud. Okay. <laughs> okay, I, I guess he could just keep doing dude. that. He, he's invincible now. I think we have to wait now. No. Oh, yeah, no, he's trying to get <laughs> It is really funny that you're doing this, but... Uh, yeah, I, I like the noise he's making. <laughs> there we go. Oh, he, oh. Basically, his, his face is his weak spot. Oh, so just keep getting while he gets... So he keeps trying to cover his head. Gotcha. This is depressing. This is just kind of... This is, I just feel sorry for this dude now. It's anyway. like you're just being the shit out of this poor dude. Anyway, so ghoulies... So ghoulies spell differently with two O's. Ghoulies. <laughs> oh, no! So what ghoulies means is... You're nuts. So if I were to say yeah, that, that this game right. has grabbed James by the ghoulies... <laughs> That's what they were meaning with the title, James. What? The game is basically saying grabbed by your nuts. <laughs> Ghoulies in the UK means balls, so that hence the joke of this whole title called yeah. You're not your looking so God damn it. Uh Boo. I'm gonna kick you to the ghoulies. <laughs> I'll kick your ass. Um according to designer Greg Mails, the name of the game materialized after he overheard someone mention that they were been grabbed by the ghoulies. I thought that would be a suitable <laughs> name for an upcoming rare game, because that's how rare works. Um, <laughs> hey, it's a good thing we, it's a good thing that kind of slang don't apply here, so I mean it works. 